Hey Leo, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings. Oh my goodness. Um, and so we take what works and we leave what doesn't. As with everything, even personal readings, we do that with those too. Some of these cards may speak directly to you and my interpretation may just be um, maybe important for somebody else, but a card may mean something to you that doesn't mean to me. Or is a message I don't necessarily get, especially with these uh, generals. So um, also, if I don't catch your wavelength here, check your other major placements. We're starting with the um, Oracle Mystical Moments deck for an intuitive vibe. And I'm finding this very interesting because this is, I think, um, shown up in almost every... Well, no, it just showed up in the last reading. Cancer got this as well. So here we have... Let me see if I can focus a little better. Uh, here we have um, new directions, or as I like to say, redirections. So something seemed like a good idea. The plan seemed solid. It seemed good. It fell apart. You had to grab um, your parachute, your alternate plan. Well, it wasn't really a plan. It was just like, ah, I guess I'm doing this. Um, so it made sense. It looked good on paper. You were, you were, uh, doing this with some friends, maybe, um, you guys got together, it seemed like such a good idea, it seemed brilliant. Um, but then something came along, the wind came along, the divine came along and uh, changed everything and, and shifted everything. And so you had to, you had to grab onto it. Well, what we can see, what any onlooker can see, not any onlooker, but what we can see now with 2020 hindsight was this was never a balloon. This was never going to go really far and fast. It wasn't designed for that. It wasn't built for that. What it was built for was to fall apart when this challenge came, when this thing came, and then, and now, now you've grabbed onto something that's real. Now you've grabbed onto something that works and can be function and actually has potential in the future. If you land on some fertile soil, you're going to have yourself a dandelion right here. You're going to have something right here, right? Not only that is you're going to land gently and, um, who, where this is going, where you land, nobody knows. We don't know where this is going. Um, but we know that that the original plan, the original intent is not going to work out. Uh, it's not quite the way you want it. And remember, these readings are like on a scale of one to 10, right? Um, so, so some of you will be having like, oh, that plan didn't work out. I guess I'll go, you know, camping on some other weekend or, or something like that. And that's going to work out much better. Or some of you are having like full on life, um, falling apart here and you've got to grab onto something else. Um, it might've just been an intuitive grab or a grasping on something, but, but what you've got in your hand now is actually something real and actually something with some potential. Uh, this other thing was never meant to go very far. It was never meant to last. It wasn't built to last. That wasn't even its purpose. Um, so it looked good though. And it got you to this point where you're actually sort of relying on your wits and relying on your own intelligence um, and not necessarily relying on a plan that you've developed with somebody else, but you're relying on yourself. You're relying on your own wits and, and you've, you've grabbed onto something that's actually uh, a lot more functional than, than what you're, what you're leaving behind. Uh, people over there still yelling, still upset, still up in a tizzy here. Not much you can do about them. They could easily do the same thing you're doing. They, you know, they can't grab the same opportunity, but they can grab other opportunities. But it looks like, uh, they're still kind of upset. Maybe they feel like you've abandoned them. Um, but in the reality is you can, you saw the writing on the wall and you took your opportunity and your chance to move forward. Uh, people may feel like you've abandoned them, but, but why would you go down with this ship of fools here? Um, and, and, uh, you know, unsurvivable situation and an untenable situation. You might as well, you might as well take an opportunity when it's presented. Um, and then you have secrets. So perhaps like, perhaps this is a secret opportunity that you're not really talking about. It's a redirection that you're not really wanting to divulge and talk about. And I'm losing my light here. So this is going to get the, the, the visuals here are going to get a little interesting, but, um, at least I've got my thing plugged in now. It's all plugged in here. So secrets, you've got something, uh, you could divulge it. You might want to, you might be close to divulging it, but if you told someone the secret, would you get knocked off a pedestal? Would you, would you be able to, to 
maintain your position that you have, but you do have a secret here and it's yours to open or not open. It's yours to talk about. It looks like you want to, and it looks like you're close to talking about it and you're almost ready to talk about it, but you're not, you're going to, you're, you're, you're not, you have the ability to, it's yours though. That's the thing. It's your secret to tell or not to tell. So you might have a secret here or somebody has some kind of secret here. I think it's you. It might be like a secret plan. You might be bailing on something and have a secret plan um, that you're not ready to talk about yet because people are going to be upset. How upset are they going to be? But there is, a, you're close to it. I mean, you climbed up onto this stool so you could get close to the secret so that you could unlock it. Like, you're right there. But you do have like this sort of hand of ownership on it. It's yours. This is yours. To open or, or leave shut as you see fit. All right, Leo, this is your past, your present, your inner landscape, what's at issue, your environment, your to-do list, and your possible outcome. Well, let us see what unfolds here. Uh, so we have the seven of voices here, sneaky behavior in your past. <laughs> this could definitely relate to the secrets. Sneaky behavior in your past here. Um, not talking about it. This would definitely be secrets. Uh, this is keeping secrets or something, something, some sort of secret that's been kept either from you or that you've kept. I think it's you. Uh, you've kept this secret, Leo. It's yours. You're not talking about it. Uh, it seemed better than open battle, open than an open open war here if you were to talk about it like voices that's discussion that's intellectual ideas here's my candle going a little nuts here that's um intellectual ideas that's uh that's that's some some sort of conversation that could have happened it had the potential to happen something that maybe should have been talked about or i don't know about shoulds but it could have been talked about it could have been an open battle it could have been an open open war but it's uh and you knew that um but rather than talk about it you wanted to keep it a secret this could be someone also going silent um being very secretive uh not um yeah going silent uh the silent treatment something like that uh not the, the, there was conflict here and it was avoided by uh, not talking about it. Temporarily avoided. Maybe, I don't know why, you know, there's, there's good reasons and crappy reasons to do that. Crappy reasons involve trying to control other people, uh, knowing someone's response or guessing. You can't know their response. You can guess at their response. And then, um, and not wanting them to, to be allowed to respond that way or when, not wanting to have to deal with that response. So you take away their freedom or you take away their power, power that they would have if they knew what was going on. You take that away and, and just decide to win the war by keeping it to yourself. And maybe that's a better idea and maybe that's not. I don't know. I can imagine, both, I can imagine scenarios where it's both ways. So I'm trying not to be judgmental here. <laughs> Um, then we have your current situation, hanged muse. You're stuck. You're trapped. These secrets, possibly this thing you don't want to talk about, but also you do want to talk about, you might be stuck. You might be stuck up here, right? And stuck up here. How did you get here? How did you get here? And this is a time where things aren't moving forward. Nothing's moving. You're kind of stuck in a situation. And the hanged muse is about thinking about how you got there. What happened? You know, the blood's rushing to her head. It's time for her to take a good look inside, good look at, at where she's come from and, and the decisions that you've made and, and how you got into the situation. How are you here? I mean, this, this is a situation that, that wants to change, that needs to change. So you could still be stuck in this, this hat where it seemed to make sense to keep something a secret. It seemed to, to be the logical thing to do. Uh, but now you're stuck somewhere. Now you're a little bit trapped and you really can't, uh, the, the you don't see how you can move forward. There's not an easy way out of the situation. And, and until you can see the next best thing, you got to just sit here and basically think about how you got here. So there's not a lot of movement going on. There's not a lot of, there's no movement. 
Uh, there's not, you don't see how that you can move forward, especially after having kept a secret maybe for a while. Um, you don't see how you can move forward with that. So you're kind of stuck in a situation, uh, could be externals, could be internal situation, uh, could just be something externally, just there's no movement here. There's no, no going, which is interesting because there's a lot of movement here and then you're moving in response to the movement of other things. So, um, so I feel like this is maybe internal relationship, something like that. I feel like it relates to the secret that's been kept. Uh, there's no movement here in the secret cards and there's no movement in the hanging view. So you're just hanging out with a secret for now. It's bothering you. Otherwise, it wouldn't be coming up in this reading. Otherwise, you wouldn't be having your hand on it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have climbed up here to this precarious height to possibly unlock it. You wouldn't have all these keys in your hand. You wouldn't be standing there thinking about. So you're kind of just in stasis thinking about what to do next. Uh, your hopes, your fears, your inner landscape. You have the magician. You're hopeful that you have everything you need. Uh, and that you can move the energy, that you can shift some kind of energy, that you have what it takes to make something happen, to energize something. I see this as sort of Frankenstein working on his monster. Okay, we've sewn this monster together. We've, we've brought all the elements together. We've got the blood. We've got the guts. We've got the muscle. We've got the bones. We've got the... Um, Organs, I guess that's guts. I think of that as guts. We've got all of this in place here. And now we wait for the lightning. Now we want the energy, the power to come to us to make something happen, to create this. We have the intention, we've worked on it, and now we're trying to work on, on whatever that magic is, whatever that energy is to change something, to make something come alive that hasn't been come, hasn't you know, we just have these lifeless elements here and we're looking for a moment, a strike of lightning, the energy to come in and make something happen. We're looking to change possibly our hanged muse situation as if by magic, as if by magic. Um, and then what's at issue here is this um, ace of emotions, feeling drained. We're not, we don't have a new beginning, possibly because we've still got this lingering issue going on here. There's not a new beginning. We're stuck. We're stuck somewhere. We're feeling drained. We're feeling um, at a loss. We don't feel connected. We don't feel connected to others. We maybe even don't feel connected to ourselves. possibly the secret. This is, uh, okay, I'm curious now if this is a secret you've kept from yourself. But there's no new emotional beginning. Um, there's this very stuck energy. You want some magic to happen. You want the energy to shift and change, but it's not, your cup is empty. This could be some depression. This could be some, this could be sadness. This could be a, a, a suppressed emotions, feelings you don't want to talk about. You don't want to feel you, you're, there's a disconnection here from others in our lives, a disconnection possibly from your own feelings and emotions, a sense of numbness, not being excited about something, certainly not a new beginning. All of this other stuff would have to get cleared out for you to get a new beginning, but you're not feeling it. Maybe this redirection is you're in the middle of this. You're like in this, this hat still. This is waiting for you, but you haven't grabbed it yet. You don't have a new beginning yet. Yeah, just an emotional disconnect, a numbness, feeling drained. Um, and then uh, what's going on in your environment? Awakening. This is a judgment card. This is something from your past having come back and asking is that really how you wanted to deal with that? How, how did that turn out for you? What, how is this going? There's something in your environment that's triggering you to go back and retrace your steps. Think about, I mean, it's almost the same energy I'm getting with this hanged muse here. Think about how you got here. How did you get in this stuck situation? Was it your doing? Did you do something to get here? Is that something? And this is, this is what this card is, is like, okay, you're kind of trapped. You're kind of stuck here. You're, um, you're trapped. You're stuck. There's not an easy way out. You can't seem to change the energy or the dynamic here. So it's time to think. And there's, this is what's causing you to go back and think something from your past has come back. And you're looking at it, wondering 
if you handled it correctly and how you would handle it now knowing what you know now. You probably did the best you could with the information you had at the time, maybe kept a secret because that seemed to be the thing to do. But now something's come back around and you're rethinking, you're getting an opportunity to rethink what you did and reevaluate it and see if maybe, just maybe, you might have done something a little different and maybe the results would have been different and maybe you'd be at a different place right now. So it's it's regrets. Um, it doesn't have to be regrets though. It can also be insight, just getting some insight into, you know, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. Now I'm kind of stuck in this situation. And, um, and so it's awakening. There's something in you that's like, oh, I could do that better. Oh, I don't actually like how I did that. Or, or I don't, I, that, the consequences for what I did are not what I want and I don't want to do it again. So something's coming back around for you to reevaluate. You're getting an opportunity to look at this, rethink it. You're kind of stuck in a situation while you're here. You might as well rethink what's going on. So there's some sort of, um, it's a called awakening. There's some sort of awakening here. There's some sort of understanding of how something played out and how it might have played out differently if you'd taken different actions. So um, so we are rethinking something and you're getting an opportunity. It should be considered an opportunity, not like a, uh, here's a shitty thing you did and marinate in that, you jerk. You know, it's more like, should be like, you know what? I'm learning and I did the best I could then. I did what I thought was the right thing to do then. I see now that there were other options and other things I could do. So something's come back from your past for you to look at and be like, hmm, might have, I kind of wish I would have dealt with that differently. And you might have an opportunity to deal with it in a better way uh, now. So something coming back for you to reevaluate and possibly deal with in another way, which should be considered an opportunity to do something better the second time, right? We can't always hit the nail on the head right the first time. So, you know, getting an, a second chance, a second opportunity to, to manage something or deal with something is, is uh, should be seen as an opportunity, not a punishment, not a repeat. So, um, and then we have Knight of Materials. This is the, your to-do list, the energy you need to be interacting with and uh, engaging with um, Knight of Materials is going very slowly. The night is about communication. The night is about movement, but it's materials. So it's very slow. You want some sort of magic wand to come in and fix everything? No, no, honey, that's not how that's going to go. This is going to go slow. You're going to think about every step. You're going to understand the patterns, how things unfold. You're going to look much further in the future than you did with this initial decision and then this thing in the past. You're going to look more, much more about, right? This is the thing in the past. Like here's, here's, here's this, you made this decision to go on this trip that fell apart. You're over on this trip now, or you're heading over on this trip. Now with this, you're going to think this through a lot more than you thought this through. You're going to really look at, is that actually a hot air balloon or is that a dandelion puff? You're going to look this time. You're going to see the pattern. You're going to look for indications of what could come next. Whatever move you make now, it's time for you to make some sort of move. It's time for you to communicate something. It's time for you to move forward. That's what the night's telling us. But you're going to do it very thoughtfully, very carefully, and very slowly. If you have a secret to divulge and you now see that you should have been more honest in that past situation, you're not going to, you're going to think about what you're going to say. You're going to write it out maybe a couple times, destroy that paper um, completely. You're going to practice it. You're going to maybe run it by a trusted advisor, a therapist. You're going to role play a little bit. What, how, how does someone perceive this? How are they going to hear this? How are they going to respond to this? You're going to really think it through. You, the night is, you do need to take some action. You do need to talk about something. You do need to communicate about something. You do need to t make a move but make sure it's very planned out and that you understand the move that you're making right now and that, that you're being very clear on it, very intentional. The Knight of Materials is extremely intentional and careful with his moves. So that's, what, that's the energy you're here to interact with. That's your area of greatest growth. Careful, intentional moves. Where are you going? What's the possible outcome? We have another Knight, another another movement. This could be another person. This could be um, you. This could be somebody else. I think it's you. 
you're going to be moving from this very careful movement, very, very careful communication, very careful movement forward. You're going to move that from that into the night of emotions, which is growth. Again, I'm seeing this awakening card here. Um, this is again, communication, uh, but it's going to be much more mature. We, this is a symbol of growth here. We've grown. We're kind of back at the same place. We're feeling the same things. We're thinking the same things, but this time we've grown. This time we've matured. This time we've had this awakening, which has grown us and matured us. So we have this sense of communication and movement, communicating our feelings, communicating our emotions. It can go a little faster. We don't have to stay at this methodical, intentional, sure-footed pace the whole time. In the future, things might be able to flow better, but they're going to be flowing from a place of maturity, from a place of growth. You really thought about how you got here and what happened. Um, and now, now you're going to be communicating and there's going to be a lot more flow to the communication as you move forward. But your first steps here need to be very cautious, need to be very careful and thought out. Then we get into some flow and it's much better because you've grown so much with this awakening, with this thing from your past coming back to for reevaluation you've grown so much in in this time that you've been stuck and trapped here you've really thought a lot about this all you've thought a lot about things and that's really helped you grow so are you going to get some magic words to say to change a whole situation no are you going to get the magic wand you want to wave around and make the situation go away absolutely not but you're going to you you understand you see what needed to be done differently. You're going to take very careful movement forward. This is going to give way to some nice flow, some nice emotional communication and some nice um, emotional growth and maturity and, um, and movement, movement towards something you love. This could be also like a love offer coming in. Like we're not having this, uh, this, you know, that's the situation. Um, is is there's no new love offer or there's no new relationship or we're just feeling drained but you're going to be coming back to life um there could be something either you're going to bring start communicating um in a loving way with somebody something but there's a lot of maturity and and growth and emotional growth and maturity and communication coming in all right leo um i hope you were able to tolerate my lighting here um and thank you so much for your likes subscribes and comments and i hope that was helpful and i'll see you around